I ignored my destiny once. I cannot do that again. Even for you. I'm the only one who knows that. At least I'm the only one with the will to act on it. The Mad Titan Podcast with your host, Jay Washington. What's happening, everybody? It is season two, episode three of the Mad Titan Podcast with me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. And you're supposed to say your own fucking name. Oh, shit. It's Yo, your boy, Peter the C, back again. I'm sorry. I'm so used to you introducing me. Like, that's I'm what not I'm not introducing you no motherfucking more. You, you are here now, okay? You are you are here now. This is this is what it is. Uh, I've gotten a lot of people who love having you here regularly now, and I oh, feel like really? that's no, yeah, I know, right? It's sad, and I was it's like, so awesome. I feel loved now. Yeah, somebody got to make you feel loved. Cause sure in the hell ain't gonna be me. Uh, <laughs> like just not gonna do it. Uh, thank you, everybody who's been listening. Uh, everybody who's been hitting me up. Um, I'm for so if you don't notice right now, I sound exhausted because I am. I just told BC before we started recording. I, before we did this, have done two one on one with the supervillain recordings. Uh, both went about an hour piece. I don't care about that, but they both were long. Uh, I did two one on one with the supervillain requests. I mean, villains, things. The fuck, I just said I did. And now I'm doing this. Then after this, I got to go to. Uh, I'm going to the gym for about an hour. Then after I go to the gym, I got to do two stand-up shows tonight. So, yeah. Yeah. And you got to watch watch House of Dragons. And you got to watch this. Watch that. You got to watch that. Watch House of Dra- I'm not watching House of Dragons until tomorrow at the, le- at yeah. the earliest. Because I'm not going to rush and watch this shit tonight. I'm not going to be back in my house till almost probably midnight. Like, <sighs> you know, this is why. And, and, I'm, and I'm in a search right now. I'm in a deep search. To find a woman for my life who, if she can do one thing, she can, if she can do one thing with no problem, she will have my heart and that's be able to massage my shoulders and back. Every woman I've had that I've known, even just not even in a sexual nature that has tried to rub my shoulders and back. They was like, I can't grip this big shit. Like, cause their fingers get tired real quick. They was like, All right, let me, let me ask back- you though. have you gone to one of them, uh, them old school, like tiny little. Yeah, they beat the fuck old, out of the, me. The old no, Asian lady that'll bro, get up bro, and what, stand bro. on you and she can't yeah, do it either? I didn't know this bitch was going to stand. Bro, let me tell you something. I Is that going to throw you off when you don't know what's going to happen? No, I'm laying on my stomach. She rubbing shit down. All of a sudden, I feel like get on the bed. Bitch, what is happening? You start stepping on the back of my shins. Bitch, wait, what part is this? Okay? Then you just stand on the back of my legs and thighs. Bitch, that is almost bone you is by. Then you <laughs> walking up my back. Who the fuck told you to do this? They didn't give me that shit to bro short. This bitch got to my shoulder blades. I I was like this bitch gonna step on my neck and paralyze me. I was like, this is not what I paid for. Why are we talking about that? Look, thank you to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Barbershop. <laughs> I thought I was like, yo, I paid six two dollars to be assaulted. I felt like a <laughs> lot of energy you I paid six two dollars to get stomped the fuck out. You get stomped the fuck out. The first rule of fight club is don't talk about fight club unless you talk about these bitches. I'm reporting them to the authorities. Anyway, oh, thank shit. you to everybody. Um, I'm gonna try to have more energy, you know. To but like I said, that's all I need in my life is a woman who can literally just grip my like back. Like I had with my homegirl, she was like, "All right, lie down, I'll try to get it." And she did. You know how people try to do something like my fingers. She was like, "Why the fuck is your back so strong?" I was like, "Is that an insult?" She was like, "It." not supposed to be but it's like with this it kind of is now <laughs> you know it's like she's like it's not supposed to be because she was like uh. and i was like it was like what's well, the yo do you want to get a dude no because i don't want some nigga get my back and all of a sudden he got soft hands and now i'm upset because i'm enjoying like go ahead rudy i don't know why his name be rudy just <laughs> no i'm with you i can't do it either i can't do it bro some dude named Ivan Thomas some let down get comfortable no <laughs> no i'm good bro for those who are new to this shit here, what I do when I'm not talking trash, we get you caught up on all the things happening in the Marvel and DC live action cinematic universe. It's barbershop talk for nerds. All right. So what that means, we're going to say a lot of shit. Okay. We're going to say some things you might agree with, some things you might not agree with. But I promise you, 
if I say some stuff, I'm going to try to back it up by fact. It's not just going to be fully opinion based because I don't want to be out here like uh, idiots. You know, I'm not going to be out here all of my feelings unless something really has me in my feelings. And that's like talking about white privilege like that. That's a thing. Um, and I'm on the show with a white guy. So he understands. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, yeah. So what's going on with you, man? Nothing, man. Just fucking chilling. Uh, trying to trying to survive sports. Um, cowboys are done. Uh, <laughs> you sound so long when you said that longhorns are done uh well, that's but my yankees saying. but my yankees still have a possibility i just want y'all to notice how he went from two texas teams to all the way across the country yep to baseball yeah yeah baseball's all the way across the country mm. but you know surviving i've had people at the house all weekend so i'm dead ass tired too bro you dead ass tired dead, dead ass, ass be that ass yeah, me. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to crash. I'm ready to go to sleep. But like you, when we finish this, I'm gonna go uh, w- go see my uh, my niece play uh, basketball. So, oh, look at you trying to be a good family member. Uh, well, actually, I'm pretty sure she's gonna make it to the WNBA. So I just want to make sure that she knows that I support her. So she, you know, supports me when she's rich. That is the most petty shit ever. <laughs> And I want you to know that she can eventually hear this because it's going to be fine. She knows. She knows I'm there. Uh, she knows. You know, uh, everything, like I said, also me, everything has been cool. Um, still, everything is changing with the whole American Gigolo thing. Thank you, everybody. Also, by the way, who show love on episode three. I told y'all I was in more episodes than just one. I'm killing it, my dude. And then I, yeah, so after so episode three, if you don't have, you should see, be able to see it now. Uh, Luther will be back. I should, yo, I should do an edit of the uh, of the credits of American Gigolo and just have it scroll up. Luther will return. And it's just- oh, <laughs> bro, you should, you should. Uh, yeah, Luther comes back in episode eight, just so y'all know, in the season finale. So you'll see a lot more of me in the season finale of the show. So I'll be in there as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. There is not, so we might talk a lot of shit this episode. And I'm gonna tell you why. There is not a lot of news on stuff that's going on. It's not a lot of news. Uh, there's practically nothing DC related. I did not watch Stargirl, so I'm gonna get that out the way. I oh did- shit, Stargirl's back. Yeah, Stargirl's on season three, and I didn't even get through season two. Now that's oh. on me. That's on me. That's yeah. on my soul. Uh, I apologize, people. So I didn't get. I didn't get through. I still haven't got through that last season of Flash. I gotta finish, and I gotta finish uh, the last three episodes of Supergirl. I never finished. Eh, whatever. Um. Yeah. I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. I brushed Supergirl off like that. Nah, whatever. Because it just went weird. Like it did. It just like. I want to, I'm one of those people, like, I'm not a purist to things. Let's, let's make sure I clarify that. You know, if you can stay close to the storyline, the origin, things like that, as long as you make a good story, a good plot, everything, I'm fine. But when some shit just start going, Wee! like the Flash, then I'm like, yo. Oh, like, yeah. Flash flash. Is, flash is fucking nuts. But speaking of Supergirl, bro, um... So Makad Makad Brooks uh, is now replacing uh Anthony Anderson in Law and Order. And this but like okay, like like he got pretty big for uh for Jax in Mortal Mortal Kombat, but I'm seeing him in a suit on fucking Law and Order, and I'm like, bruh, you are jacked in a suit. Like the suit don't fit him because he's jacked and it's just it looks big on <laughs> Hey man, that's how you supposed to look. Put me on a suit jacket, look like I'll fight everybody in the courtroom. Y'all know, <laughs> I'll beat this nigga's ass. What? what? Threw, threw me off to see because I didn't know he was showing up on that show. Hey, so when he was there for the Jax? big event they were doing, I was like, oh yeah. wow, that's all right. What did you think of him as Jackson Mortal Kombat? He was okay. Um, it was a very interesting look at Jax. As someone who's a big Mortal Kombat fan, I was like, that's an interesting way to go about it. But other than that, I thought he did okay with the role. All right, well, let's move on because I know this should go a whole other way. I always kick stuff off with Marvel news. and It's not a lot of Marvel news. Now, last week we told you that the Fantastic Four movie has its director in Matt Shankman from uh, WandaVision. But now it also has the writers of the film. Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer are on board to script the thing. Now, 
the duo had been involved with Fantastic Four for some time. Uh, they've been outlining where the series of films will fit into the MCU. Uh, they've been working with Kevin Feige. And so the thing is, we'll get that. We don't have a date per se of the um, of the movie. They say it will. How? Oh, yeah, we do. I'm sorry. It comes out November 8th, 2024. We have a date. I'm sorry. We do have a date. And it immediately will go into the perfect movie for it to go into Avengers, the Kang dynasty. It's the perfect movie to go right into. Uh, then Avengers secret war six months later. Look, I know some people saying Marvel doing too much. People consistently say that Marvel out here. Like y'all going to keep seeing these movies regardless. Exactly. And I don't, People keep trying to say, well, Marvel is going down and quiet. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mar like I said it last show, and I've said it last couple, couple of episodes. Marvel said we're gonna play, we're gonna, we're gonna open the doors, we're gonna open Pandora's box, we're gonna explore and experiment with shit. And it's working. And the problem is my home shout out to my homeboy Brandon Pope. He made a great statement on Facebook. He said, Marvel hasn't gone down in quality. It's just fair. These quote unquote fans have made way too high of expectations of what they feel it should be. And because it's not matching what they want it to be, then it's not working. Now, don't get me wrong. They changed some things. Uh, Moon Knight season one was literally just to build you up to Moon Knight season two. It was like, this is who, because a lot of, yes, true. There are episodes where you don't get any Moon Knight itself, but it is just about who is Mark Spector. It was a legit origin story for Moon Knight. It was an origin story for him. Yeah. It was a season of an origin story. Mm. So, like, uh, jumping back to the to these writers, if I if I if I knew if I had the ability to uh, post up one of your one of the clips there, I literally would have put when you say the writer's name, I would have clicked up uh, Jaman Hunsu from Guardians. Who? Who? Because the they have. Almost nothing, no credits that I've ever, that I've even heard of. I don't know who these people are at all. But the fact that they're like, yo, they've been working on this as well as future Fantastic Four movies outlines for quite a while. I'm like, oh, well, they are, they obviously know who, who these characters are and what they're doing. So I believe in Feige. So I like that idea. As far as Marvel taking a back, I'm like, here's my problem. If you think Marvel's taking a back seat, Marvel, Marvel's ducking down, you need to stop watching. All right? Yeah, I've been because saying that. Because people like, and I know people that are like, yo, I'm still going to watch it. I'm like, why? If you don't like it, why are you going to watch it? Why are you doing because that? I'm, because I'm, because I'm, uh, and I'm just like, I don't get that. If you don't like something you and you watching it anyway, you telling them that you like it, regardless of what you say. They don't care. If you're you telling them about it. your money. You tell yeah, them what you all money. they want is your view. They don't care about your opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the thing, too, is um, when it comes to the writers, I'm, I'm about to see if I can find anything on these fellas. Uh, nothing else to Jeff Kaplan and Ian Spring. Nothing else I can see on Deadline, which I thought I might have seen something there um i looked at looked at their credits on imdb and I, I don't know any of the things they've done see and that's the thing so and I, this is why i bring this up marvel has been known to give unknown writers and directors a major shot and then look again the two directors of captain marvel made a billion dollar movie they made a billion dollar movie i need people to understand how much money a billion dollars is bless you that was oh, that good day. I, yeah. I saw you <laughs> turn the it. sound off. <laughs> you turned the sound off, but I can see your face looking like you having a conniption fit. But uh, they made a bit so, like, they take directors you have not heard of and then they allow them to do something in this giant franchise, which, because of its profitability, because we're in a capitalistic society, society because of its profitability, now they get to do other shit. And again, these dudes have already said, yo, this is where the Fantastic Four can go. And to know, okay, bet, which means Kevin Feige supposedly has already outlined the last ten, the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the MCU is going till at least 2030. Yeah. If, if anything. Before it maybe even slows down, stops, or whatever. But you got to think about this. Now, every time you have A-list talent, they want to jump in these films. And A-list talent is always going to happen because there are always going to be projects that are creating A-list talent. And not say projects because that can be TV shows, that can be films. That Look, music. We have Harry Styles in the MCU. 
now he's an official actor, you know, per se. But Bad Bunny's coming. He's getting his own fucking Sony movie. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> what the El Muerto that had one issue, but this is really weird. I saw the um, greatest thing. Mother was like, yo, I got the whole Bad Bunny collection. Boom. <laughs> here. Here. You're like, okay. But you were about to say something. Go ahead. Oh shit. No, I mean, I mean, you're right. Like, it's just and everyone, everyone was so complaining about where are we going. Why don't we know where we're going? Bitch, you didn't know where we were going in in Iron Man or Incredible Hulk or even Iron Man Two. You had no clue. Captain America showed up and you still didn't know where we were going. Thor showed up and you still didn't know where we were going. The first Avengers movie, it went to the very end. They were like, "Oh, I think we know where we're going." No, we don't know where we're going. Calm down, enjoy the fucking ride. Yeah, I you know think what I'm saying. If you don't like a project, don't watch it. That's cool. Yeah, I I think people need to just chill the fuck out. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about Ms. Marvel real quick. So, as you if you did on the majority of the direct the directors of the majority of the episodes, Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, they were supposed they could have done all six, but they couldn't because they were supposed they were doing another movie. It's kind of called Bad Girl that got shelved. But this is now this is what they said that they took to social media and posted a video looking back at the show's first season. And they captioned it, just reminiscing on our time spent in the MCU. Who's ready for season two? Now, Miss Marvel is returning and capped in the Marvels. Okay, she's coming back in that. So to give Miss Marvel a second season, because so one of the articles I said is that saw, a couple of articles I saw said that Miss Marvel had a villain problem. Because of the way the clandestine went. What do you think about that before I say my next thoughts? I didn't mind it. I didn't mind the villains on there. Um, because I liked it as I liked the journey we went on with with uh Miss Marvel, you know. So because of that, I could understand the weaker villain. It didn't bother me because I was enjoying our the story we told. All right. If you you have to have something that's gonna make it good. If you're having a stronger story, you gotta or you have a weaker story, you gotta have some characters and bad guys and good guys that I'm that I'm at least caring about. But if you're gonna have a weaker part of character, at least you have a good story get, get through and good uh exploration of who this one character was. That's what I bought into with the show. Um with a season two, we will need a stronger villain, though. I will say that if we do have a season two. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't know yeah. why motherfuckers are... Com- Look, sometimes the villain isn't always who you think it's going to be, right? Exactly. We thought it was Cameron's mom. We thought it was the clandestine because they wanted they wanted Kamala to open up the, 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 the portal, the gate, right? The veil. Nigga, the villain was the government. Max, and it worked. And it worked. The villain was the government. Damage control was the villain with a racist ass agent who might be a scroll. Who might be a scroll green? Remember, Agent Deaver, she knew that Kamala was at the mosque. I mean, at the school. She knew she was at the school. But remember, when they left the mosque, they were told take the back roads so the cameras could never find them. How did she know that they were at the school? How? She's either a scroll or a cream. That's that's interesting. I did not think about that. So the government because and the fact that we've seen we've seen damage control a, a new, couple times now. Um, especially, I think it's very telling that one of them is uh, in the in the interview room with with Tom Holland, and he's and he knows Nick Fury's been off planet. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it is very telling that a he knows that, and b he just says it nonchalantly, just to a kid, mm-hmm. to Spider Man. You know, so that you, I think you're on to something there. Yeah, that's big. Hey, that's good. Secret Invasion is coming up. We talked about it last week. Yo, I'm so it's, confused it's a, on how that's gonna go. What do you mean? It's a dope. It's an espionage thing. Yo, the well, scroll- yeah, but but the the way our MCU has been set up. The scrolls aren't really the bad guys. So no, 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 no. The super there are a sect of scrolls that are though. You think they're gonna use the super scrolls? They might. That's interesting. They might because I think that's what I, I hope think they change the name. 
because I think they've been here for again, the scrolls have been here for the longest. Yeah. Is what we're about to find out. We already know. But you don't think they're going to go through and do the whole half of our superheroes were actually scrolls. I don't think we're doing that part. I don't think that's the one thing I don't think we're doing. Yeah. I don't think we're doing that much. Because it's too, it'd be too weird now because like nothing reflected that said like, Black Widow was a scroll. Yeah. Tony was a scroll. But you're about to say, I'm sorry to cut you off. But no, no, that's exactly what I'm saying with it. There's no connection there. And also I do like, you know, when, when in, in Captain Marvel, when Nick Fury's talking to her about scrolls and she's like, she's like, how do I know you're not a scroll? And he, she uses her power and shoots things. And he goes, is that supposed to mean something? He's like, yeah, scrolls can't do that. So then like, if you have, if you're going to try and say this, some of the superheroes are scrolls, well, how do they have the powers? You know what I'm saying? So now we've built a world that they could just shape shift into just other people. I like that idea that, you know, the part of like, maybe people in the government, maybe the president, maybe, you know, certain people around there, we find out are actually scrolls. But that's the reason why in the trailer. And I think that's how they swap that. Yeah, but that's why in the trailer, Fury asked Rhodey, yo, how well do you know your security detail? Yeah, Like, that's why he asked him that, because now he's realizing this scroll shit is bigger than what it's not. Talos, Talos and them peoples went in from the Captain Marvel peoples. They out here trying to live life. Like, they like, yo, these creek, he fucking with us, bro. We just trying to live life, harvest food, fucking have babies. But the yeah. Kree trying to take us out like, yo, this is bullshit. But then there might be also, again, there's a sect of scrolls that want to be, that want to enslave, for lack of better words, the lower sect of scrolls. There's classism. We always find out, and that's one thing too, with these other races, no matter what, there's classism. Think about it. Thanos is a prime example of classism. Yeah. Because he was like, yo, you bitches don't want to listen. I kill half of you motherfuckers and the other half of eat. And everybody was like, Wait, whoa, how do you figure out which half you're gonna kill? And then, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, fam, I'm like, calm down. And so, there's so much with that. So, again, when it comes back to Miss Marvel season two, the, again, it, it all is going to play off of what happens in the Marvels, number one. Yes. Because now she gets to meet her hero in the Marvels and Carol Danvers. Because they said one of the things is with the Marvels, by the way. You have a you have a young girl who's a fan now of Carol, just like Monica was at a point, but Monica resents her for leaving. Because mm-hmm. remember, we found that out in WandaVision. Yeah. We don't bring her up. Don't bring this bitch up to me. This bitch yeah. left. My mama died, and this bitch wasn't here. She said she's my auntie. She took my leather jacket and never came back. Oh, tramp. And I was like, that's kind of hostile, even though she didn't say all that, but I felt like that's what Monica was saying. I, I figured it was implied. It was definitely it was implied. implied. And then yeah. you get, now you got Kamala, who's been the giantest fan of Captain Marvel for the longest. And because of their powers uh, the and the bangles, they're intertwined. So mm-hmm. all this happens. But speaking of the Marvels, their director, Nia DaCosta, I'm going to make a lot of dudes feel vindicated when I say this, and I hate the fact I'm going to say this. I don't think you had, did you read the article? I'm, I'm going to read, no, no, I'm just, no, saying the title when I was, when I'm going to say okay. the title. Okay, all right, saying the title, okay. It will vindicate them, and then they'll hear the article and be like, oh, I don't know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta, <laughs> says she was annoyed. Oh. <laughs> She was annoyed by the in-game women's Avengers scene, by the A4 scene. Now, if you remember, in the movie, we had that uh, A4 scene. Now, she said she was annoyed by the all-woman moment. Now, before y'all get your dicks and nipples hard, like, yeah, I knew it! It was women that didn't like it! Near the near. Here's what she said. Quote, near the she said, quote, I, like many women around the world, watched Avengers Endgame and had that six seconds of all the Marvel women together. I once had chills, but I was also very annoyed. It was two hours of this, please. So it was nice. They decided to do a team-up movie with three of my favorite heroes. So that was what was most exciting. I've been a huge Marvel fan for the longest time. I love the movies, and so I always do. I want to be part of the universe. Back when Endgame was released, there were discussions of whether or not the A-Force moment felt earned. This is according to Christopher Marcus, who's one of the screenwriters. 
He said those sort of things are naturally part of the process. But basically, this is what DeCosta is saying. The six seconds was good, but not she, enough. Not enough. And there are a lot of people who were annoyed by that. You yeah. could have gave them more than that small chunk because technically they could whoop some ass for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what Manchester is going to do because that is just seems weird. Uh, like, because she ain't hold nobody by the neck. Uh, no. Gamora could probably get shot in the face. Uh, as never. All of them basically fuck around, get shot in the face, and die in fortune. Like, I was just having a discussion with somebody earlier today. A for what's moment aside, which I did love. Have we not? Why do we never discuss exactly how powerful Steve Rogers was? It, it is weird that no one ever brings up the fact that you know, you know, he's holding back. Like Tony, even that line with Tony: "If Steve Rogers wanted you dead, you'd be dead." No, you don't get this. What I'm saying. Yeah. So we all know that everybody's tried to recreate the Super Soldier Serum to make another Captain America. Yeah. But everybody keeps forgetting the one essential, well, two essential things. One, Vita Rays, which Erskine said was a big thing. Stick a motherfucker in a booth with Vita Rays. But number two, they have to be a good person, okay? Yeah. That's, the, that's one of the biggest things. But here's the thing. Steve Rogers is on another level of superhuman. You know why? The nigga took a punch to the face from Thanos and got back up. Bro, have, have in you order for him the... to punch Captain Marvel, he had to take the power stone out the gauntlet, put it in his hand, and was like, bitch, and then hit her. Just saying. Uh, but have you have you heard the uh the 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 theory that that punch actually killed Cap? No. So there's a theory that when he when he when when Thanos realizes he can't even close his fist, he's like, all right, puts all his might and punch him. He actually kills Cap. But then when he reverses the time to bring back uh vision, that's oh. what releases that's what releases Hulk from the rock, and that's what releases uh, everyone from where they are and puts everyone back together and brings Cap back to life. Okay, well, you know what? Which I go is a good thing. I like the theory. I don't know if I buy it though, because I like I, I like what you say. Like Cap could be down, bro, but he's still in there. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. We watched Steve Rogers hold a fucking helicopter and the side of a building. Okay. <laughs> if that <coughs> were the most unbelievable shit, he took a punch into the face. From steroided Grimace, who I love to death. Like, he took a straight punch to the... You ever just want to hit a nigga sometimes and watch and him then you, And then you see Thanos do it, and you're like, that's what I just want. I just every now I just want to hit a motherfucker once or twice. He cocked his fist back. Bitch, if you don't let go of my goddamn gauntlet, because this... <laughs> go watch that scene in Infinity War again. It's so when good. Steve is holding the gauntlet, and Thanos had to have a... Set, he Because he had to have the realization... Bitch, who do you think you are? And when you are a little white boy, stop. Stop it. And then thumped his ass. But again, in Endgame, Captain Marvel came and this bitch was like, and started tapping him. And then the headbutt is my favorite. The fuck when she headbutted the shit out of him, he was like, oh, bitch. And then, but then he realized, okay, I can't whoop this half with. Pulled the goddamn power stone out, put it in a fist, and was like, take it. Wow. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, I don't know why we don't discuss that more often. <laughs> I'm just saying. I do, however, though, I would like um, to see more of an A-Force moment, but I don't know at this rate if we'd get it because, you know, I think the best shot they had was the shot in yeah. Endgame. Yeah. Because of the having them collectively together. Now, don't get me wrong, more people would have loved to have seen it. Yeah, some people even said it would have been great to have Natasha alive for that moment. And it yeah. kind of would have, you know. Because she's like the first, like, she, you know, and I was just like, man, it kind of sucks that she's not here for this. And it, it's really fucked up now because in hindsight, you realize why certain things had to play out the way it was. Mm -hmm. Like, I was one of many people who was like, yo, Hawkeye and his hair can die. Like, sacrifice this nigga. We don't, we're not gonna miss a bow and arrow. Like, this nigga can go, boy, boy. 
But then you're like, oh, we needed to see K Bishop get her life together. Like, yeah. that's, you know, because it had to play out that way. Because uh -huh. my thing is, like, if. But, like, what if, what if Rocket and Thor had gone there and you're like, yeah, you got to sacrifice what you love. And they're both like, we don't really give a shit about each other. <laughs> I'd have kicked the shit out that little raccoon. We got to sacrifice. I'd have Sparta kicked the fuck out of Rocket in his back. <laughs> I'd have kicked this you just shit out of with a gun. Go. You wasn't even able to, nigga. I don't want. Let me tell you something. For those who remember this movie, I'm not, I want to take you back to a scene in a great movie called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original, the very first movie. Okay, there is a scene in Central Park where Raphael is fighting one Casey Jones, and Raphael just happens to pick up this motherfucker. Uh, he's fighting Casey Jones, and at one point, you know, Casey Jones is like, "All right, you bitch." He pulls out a cricket bat. And then Raphael tries to crack him like cricket. Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. And in case Joe says, I'll teach you and fuck the shit out of him. And he lands in the garbage can. What I'm saying is at that moment, if it's Thor and Rocket, and, and you got the red skull, you must give up what you love. I'm winding up Mildor or Stormbreaker. I'm spinning big ass Stormbreaker. The wind up and the pitch. Wow! And I'm watching this motherfucking raccoon go in the air. Now, at that moment, you are supposed to allow the first fuck. Because that moment when Rocket is in the air and flying down, fuck you! Like, that's what's supposed to happen. Okay, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, did we get... Do, 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 do you think we already got our, our first fuck in the MCU? No. The closest you don't we, think Captain America fucks counts? Nope. No, nope. okay. I so think we're still gonna to get it. Get I think it. I, we're getting the official word fuck. We're gonna get it. I yeah, Captain America, Captain America, fuck! and that was the closest <laughs> thing. But I think because I honestly thought it's because motherfucker I, was close too. Nick Fury was close. Nick was close. Samuel Jackson. I thought you know who I thought was gonna give it to us if, since it wasn't Nick Fury. I thought Aquafina was in Shang-Chi. Oh, yeah. Cause it, everything she, I'm gonna say shit every six seconds. So yeah. I could have seen her just go see, see the, the great protector come out that thing and go, what the fuck? Like I'd have been like, yep, yeah, this tracks. But I, <laughs> from what I'm believing, I think everybody now is under the same impression Deadpool. is that it's gonna be Deadpool. And here's the thing, if it's not Deadpool, a lot of people just gonna feel like emotional damn it. Cause if Fucking you facts. build up to all this and it's not Deadpool, and it's not Deadpool, that's going to be an issue. So Deadpool in a Deadpool movie or Deadpool in an, in a team-up movie? No, Deadpool in a Deadpool movie. See, that, okay, that makes, that that, that tracks too easily for me. Yeah, I need, you're I, right. need De you're I need right. Deadpool in the Avengers to go fuck and then just go, what did you just say? You know, like we won't have Cap there to say it. Or maybe Old Man Cap shows up just to go language. <laughs> look, I just want Sam, I just want Sam to look at, you know, maybe Sam can look at Bucky in Captain America 4 and go, nigga! <laughs> then I think everything would be complete. <laughs> like, that's, my bro, that's my favorite gimmick when we're out, and I just do the hand signs and you just yell it out. Just yeah, Like, that, or just have, I just want to just Sam see it all of a sudden, Sam see Bucky at dinner with his sister, and all you just hear over the speakers go, nigga! And just see what Bucky says. I'm like, we don't use that word no more. Like, I want to see that. Uh, because like, there's so much stuff. Like, I want a clip. I want to, uh, uh, like, some bullshit happens in Wakanda through this, right? All of a sudden, there's a, there's a dude out to sea with motherfucking wings on his ankles. And they just, like, my brother has had a thing ready for moments like this. Nigga, what did you talk about? Like, there's someone. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm so fucking sleepy. Oh, All God. right. So let's just talk about it because this is, again, this will probably be a shorter episode. Uh, she Hulk episode six, man. We didn't get Daredevil. And I think it was, shout out to the homie Chris Lee, who was a member of the one on one with the Super Villain Squad. Uh, you can join the member, you can be a member of the squad too, join on Patreon. Uh, he said, he was like, we probably won't get it. And he was right, we yep. won't. Here's the thing I love him. Yep. Because all these motherfuckers, men, women, everybody, kept thinking he was going to be an essential part of the show. No, it's yeah, not true. his fucking show. Yeah. This nigga has an 18-episode show coming up soon. 
Yeah, he don't need to be in all episodes of She-Hulk. He can just show up for some fun shit. And, and that's then, what I'm loving. It. Like the intrigue. I'm like, cause I, I was, I was on the bank that I was like, it's tonight. Yeah. He's definitely going to be here tonight. Like we showed his helmet. He's going to be here. This is the episode. And as soon as, as soon as she looks at the camera and goes, yep. Self-contained wedding episode. I was like, oh, he's not going to be here. Okay. <laughs> but, By the way. but unlike, unlike most people, I'm not getting pissed off because I know it's she Hulk show, not the Iron Man or the daredevil show. Also, you weren't promised daredevil that's another thing people keep trying to say i was promised you weren't promised anything also who gives a fuck if you were promised did they pinky swear with you go to hell like you were just shown a helmet right you were just yeah. shown a helmet and put in a and put in a, in a hat box that's what you were shown so people be like well we were promised no 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 you were shown daredevil in a trailer you weren't promised he was going to be in the whole show yeah. You were just shown he's going to show up. You've they only seen him that. in one scene. That could be the only scene he's in. No, nah, he's going to be in a scene somehow on the rooftop because you got to see her in her suit. That's what I'm talking about. That scene. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, that could be, be the, the only, only scene. That's going to be the only scene he's in because he tested Watch it. And I guarantee Watch it be the last scene of the show. The and very last scene. And suit. All it is, he just flips up. He's like, hey, what's up? And she's like, hey. And then and he, he just keeps running, the and then she looks at the camera and goes, "He's got a show coming, so he." Had yep, <laughs> and he's just testing, and that's all it is. He's just testing out his suit to see how it fits. He ain't gonna do shit. Um, that's he gonna do the most money menial shit ever, and motherfuckers gonna try to lose their mind. And I want y'all to come right back to this episode. I'm here, here for it. I'm so here for it. And motherfucker gonna come up. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm just making sure the shit fits." Okay, it's cool. And then she's <laughs> like, "Oh, you'll see him later. He's got his own show." And then it just ends like, "Bam." Um, I here's the thing. I like I said, I, I keep saying this in my personal reviews on my YouTube channel and others. We're watching the story of Jennifer Walters, mm -hmm. and to watch how people treat Jennifer Walters like shit, and to see the bridesmaids and all the people from high school still treat her like shit as Jennifer Walters to make her clean up shit and then iron shirts, bro. I will say I'm on the board. I'm on the side that would have gone. I would have left this fucking wedding immediately. <laughs> I was hoping she hope was going to fuck. Oh, Cause she was, about, she was think about it. She got drunk enough. She was about to. Um. So you, you're on the same board with me though. Josh ain't a good dude. What he just told he go to weddings and fuck. What what, what that, no that, no he's he he's targeting She Hulk. He's one of he's one I, I guarantee he's part he's of intelligentsia. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's targeting, yeah, he's part of intelligentsia. He didn't just randomly stumble upon Jennifer Walter. I agree. Yep. I, I, I rewatched it and I was like, he's not just a random dude. No, I'm like, I'm like, you're too nice. You're too fucking nice. You're doing this for some they're like you're you're a bad guy in the show. And you're people are like, guy. oh, maybe there's a guy that finally finds her, blah blah blah. Nah, man. Nah, bro. Also, Titania getting her ass whooped and her veneers knocked out. And I was, because like, first of all, it was so dope when Titania, when she was throwing up drink, and then Jennifer thinks Titania for the help her and kicked her in her fucking stomach. And she was, she was trying to change and she couldn't because she was so drunk. She was like, yo, I don't remember how to do this right now. But then because she changes, like Bruce said, as She-Hulk, you can drink and do whatever. Your metabolism is so fast. So she sobered up immediately and beat the shit out of Titania. Oh, bro, I fucking loved that. And I loved, uh, well, the, I will say, it is kind of weird that She-Hulk, with all her power, can slow motion punch the shit out of Titania's face. But it isn't until Titania falls that she breaks her teeth. I'm like, wait, She-Hulk didn't break her teeth? <laughs> she slipped on ice. Trying to charge her, dog. The DJ was in Chettable Hulk, <laughs> and then when she played, when he played the music, it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Did, so, did that room? Did that not remind you of Iron Man Two? Yes. Tony was yes. like, "Hey, ghosting, drop a fat beat so I can whoop my friend's ass too." That was the first thing that popped in my fucking head. Was like, "Oh, this is like an Iron Man 2. That's the best had, version of Another One Bites the Dust, too. I go back and listen to that remix all the time. Doo -doo -doo, 
do 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 like it was it was dope man i i was cool with it i uh but again it's a self-contained episode Mm -hmm. and then we see the intelligence and then to find out the hulk you know with them doing the case which by show first of all mr fucking immortal all right i was i was wanting you to get i was i was waiting for you to get to him because this was hilarious the best b plot of the best c plot of the story Mm -hmm. this motherfucker when he is getting reamed in the office the first time by mallory and nikki and this motherfucker just leaps up the window. <laughs> I lost my shit because I didn't know if we were really what they were going for. And I, I normally I'm lying down on my couch watching all these episodes, right? I jumped the fuck like I would like I was a kid with energy again. I jumped. I'm saying I'm like, did the MCU just walk someone out a fucking window and suicide them? What the Hell, this is insane. And then it cuts to the scene of him just cracking back up, ready to go. I was like, oh my God. But they let that sit there for a minute of him I just out in the my, window. I was in here in my apartment hollering, laughing. Because I was oh. like, what the fuck? This nigga just jumped up. I mean, he just, you see him walking around like a normal person would. This motherfucker just went, yay! I was like, oh shit. And then we found out this. Wait, when this motherfucker was getting the judgment of what he had to do, this motherfucker was about to stand up and jump again. They had to hold his head. Don't you fucking go nowhere. To find out everybody knew him as different names, though. Yeah. Like, that was. Because he like, legally dies. He's like, well, I die in a legal sense. So I get to, you know, I get to come back. And I was like, that is amazing. But to watch Nikki handle it when she broke down what everybody was going to get, that was great. And then that's because I'm bringing all that up to get to the uh, the slutty Hulk and the message board from Intelligentsia, bro. Yeah. Dude, did you read all the shit that was on the board? Oh, no, I didn't. What was on there? Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me pull it because I took pictures. I was going to put it on my fucking on the review. So this is the first one. Uh, cancel She Hulk. Hold on, let me turn it, rotate my phone so I can read sideways because uh, I, I can't read it that way. Cool, She Hulk should be canceled. She discriminates against anyone who doesn't share her pathetic man hating worldview. If she were a man, she'd be canceled already. Think about it. This is on the message board. All right, hold on. What's the next one? Uh, when you a Hulk, but you still dumb, they put a picture of her to Hulk. But this was one when I was like, oh, shit. They, so if you thought they were going for it with that fucking suicide dive, bro, yeah. on the message board, someone just shoots She-Hulk. Why hasn't anyone done this? It's I not that, that compli- part. It's not that complicated, bro. Kill the bitch already so we can move on. I'm sick of hearing about this bitch. Yeah. It's on the message board. So that, somebody- I was like, that's dark. How do we they, swipe- they they sold it real well filming it too because the music was real low the the back the sound mixing and they and they were no longer joking they were really like this is kind of serious and they're also like well I don't want to put this in her head which because is it's real a silly. real fucking issue and it, and they're doing it in such a perfect and genius way I love the writing on this how do we swat she ho do standard police weapons kill her can we just swat her and get rid of her uh how do we kill She Hulk? This was the oh eight reasons she needs to die. Here are the top eight reasons She Hulk needs to die. This was shit that was on there. This was the one I was on top of. I was like, yo, get the fuck out of here. The last one was like, She Hulk isn't even that strong. If She Hulk and the real Hulk got into a fight, the Hulk would totally kick her butt. No questions asked. I don't know what I'd do if I even saw them fighting though. LOL. I might have to get in the ring with them and beat up She-Hulk myself because she's not even strong. The fucked up part, again, like I said in my reviews, this is shit that goes on in real fucking yeah. life. Yeah. I bet I bet almost every one of those are taken, like, actual things that they found and then just Would not added She-Hulk me. in. Would not of- surprise me. Yeah. Because when they put the tweets up, when they did the episode with the tweets and the uh, white dudes in their car making YouTube videos, it uh-huh. would not. Because all this shit is real. And that's why a lot of these dudes are like, oh, I just don't feel like I can get into it. Because they're talking about your ass. Yeah. They're talking about you. So now you fucking upset. 
And then to find out when you stick again, the Hulk King and all that, that's the leader. It's got to be. Bro, it's got to be the leader that made it. It has to. That's what I'm saying, too. It has to be the leader. Uh, I did I did see a theory of someone bringing up that maybe it's uh, AIM and they're going to try to bring MODOK in. I don't I don't really buy into that because we do have that MODOK show. I don't think they would want to do both. Bro, that MODOK show don't count no more. I know, but still. Nope. You got to eliminate that, bro. You really got to. Do they MODOK cancel it? Because remember, MODOK is in Quantumania. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, okay. Now I buy into it a little bit more then. I didn't think also, they were going to do that. Remember, MODOK and the leader were together. Okay. Well, see, that's what that's why I find interesting is if they were to bring back AIM from Iron Man 3, mm-hmm. like it'd be very interesting to see how they restructured after their orange. Still wouldn't to me, it would not be surprising. Yeah. If it's fucking Samuel Stearns. I do. Uh, that's that's where my money is. My money's on, on the leader. So, I mean, we'll see about that, bro. But yeah, that's. I'm loving it. I'm loving this show. I think it's great. I think it's a great show. I'm man. not. Again, I'm we, not waiting at, on the edge of my seat all week for the next episode, but I am very excited when there's a new episode. I'm like, yeah, right, I'm cool, like, I'm, so, I'm excited. Like, I'm. But also, you got to remember, I keep telling people this. I had this discussion with my homegirl Heather J, who was on the show before, and we talked. She was like, "Everybody ain't excited like they were about Wandavision." I said, "Heather, everybody was in the house with nothing to do." When WandaVision was dropping, it was the only, it was the first MCU shit we were getting in like a year and a half. So everybody was waiting with bated breath. No one had anything else to do. So that's why WandaVision was crashing the servers. Mm -hmm. Now people are literally living life every day. And I, and and where I've ranked the show is, is if, and, and this is not a knock on it. This is perfect for it. It's like TGIF back in the day. Yeah, this would be perfect in TGIF. You know, mm-hmm. you'd have Full House, Family Matters, and She Hulk. It step would have been step. perfect. It's step by step, step by step, step Mr. by Cooper. step, day by day, a fresh start off in a dip. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. When they first put all of TGIF on Hulu, the first thing I did was watch all of Step by Step. I believe you. And then I watched all of Family Matters because I wanted to see Urkel again. And I forgot season one of that show and how Urkel was not a big part of it. He literally was just a guest star for one episode. Yeah. <laughs> he was a guest star for one episode. And then because the reaction was like so great towards him, they were like, we have to make him a regular. Yeah. And then it became the uh, dude, because I remember Stefan and all that. I did not remember that early stuff. Bro, you have to watch the, the sketch that Key and Peele did about Steve Urkel with with uh with Reginald Vale Johnson being Carl Win- It was Jordan Peele was playing Reginald Vale Johnson, aka Carl Winslow. Yeah. And and Keegan was playing the executive of ABC at the time. And he was like, America fell in love with him. We just had to ask, we just had to add him. He was like, the show has changed. This was supposed to have been a blue-collar Cosby show about me and my family. I'm barely in it. It is all about Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Which that's what fucking happened with the show. Yeah. It was all about Steve. But listen, that is all we got for this week. I also forgot to remind y'all, I still take calls to the Mad Titan Podcast hotline. 818-276-6947. 818-276-6947. Or you can email me, madtitanpodcast at gmail.com mad titan podcast at gmail.com okay uh yeah because bc liked to use and spam me a lot when he used to call to make calls about himself which <laughs> is weird hella weird but he's here now but i do have it was one- fun <laughs> it, i hey. remember i'd just be driving to work one day and be like you know what i need to call the mad titan hotline and just say things <laughs> Nigga, uh, no. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I do have an email. The email comes from my homegirl Jolene, who's a member of the Super Villain Squad. Jolene says, hey, J and BC, happy to hear you both back talking about the nerd stuff again. Question this time. This is in regards to the discussion of the Netflix Marvel stuff in season two, episode two. 
how much do you really want to canonize all of the Marvel Netflix stuff? For me, not really at all. If we ignore it all, we get a redo on Jessica Jones, Purple Man, Danny Rand, Luke Cage, who's busy with evil, Colleen Wing, Electra, Bullseye, Ben Urich, Punisher, Karen Page, Patsy Walker, and Mary Walker. Now, I love so many of the actors, but the characterizations of some were just atrocious, and some of the actual actors also weren't really beloved. Like, Patsy Walker deserves better, goddammit, and Purple Man should still be alive. Stop killing vi vi villains. Same with Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Canonize it or decanonize it. Looking forward to your thoughts. So, I will let you go first. I am full. I'm full on on full canonization. Now, does that mean we can't go back and change things? Maybe retcon some stuff. I, if you have to, you have to. That's fine. Um, you can recast people. I mean, I understand things are going to change. We've recasted uh, a couple people in the MCU once or twice. So if it happens, it happens. I'm fine with that. I like the idea of them already having this rich history that we've been a part of and enjoyed the line of. I'm also not opposed to the multiverse theory. So if that's what you want to do, that's what you do. All right, cool. But I love the world they built. And I, I'm i on the board that I actually really enjoyed Iron Fist. I know a lot of people did, and, and I get that. But I didn't mind it. And Sh Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. got terrible toward the end. But Don't I you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that on us. <laughs> you didn't like Iron Fist. <laughs> mm. Mm. If y'all could see his face right now, you'd, you'd you'd wonder why I'm still on this show. Oh, hey, fuck you. I mean, uh, so so I so I can't take it. That means you're completely against the candidates. No, 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 no. I'm not completely against it. So I think there are certain elements that did work with certain shows. I think certain things can go. Uh, Jessica Jones, as far as her story, I think some parts of it do come over. Yes. Do we get a new tr Patsy Walker? Probably. Yeah. Uh, but also Jessica, J Jessica Jones, Kristen Ritter is busy with a new show. Mm -hmm. Which so, so she's right. So that, good. Is she so that good takes her. Too. So that takes her out of this. Yeah. Iron Fist. We will start that bitch over from the bottom like a Drake song. Uh, Purple Man, David Tennant is popular and busy. And then he ended up having that show on Apple and everything. And I get the whole don't kill villains, but the problem is you have to kill people off if you can't bring them back. Mm -hmm. You have unfortunate that's the unfortunate thing with like these type of shows with these characters. If you can't bring them back, you can't allow the character to sit in the ether because people, too many people keep going off the possibility of what if they come back? The same, again, Cottonmouth, you you knew you only had Mahershala for six, seven episodes. So you can't just leave Cottonmouth in the open, not knowing that, knowing that you probably won't get him back. You have to eliminate, take him out. So, you know, I know some people are like, yo, don't end these people off, but you got to look at the thing, like if you're building long-term stories. So again, go ahead. Also, like, look at the aspect now of where we are in the MCU. Um, you know, like, like, like Scarlett Johan or like Black Widow says, I get emails from a raccoon daily. So, you know, nothing surprises me. You can bring anyone back you want. We are at a moment in time I don't now. I understand that, how the fuck those two things go together, but well, okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 nothing's nothing can be cannot be explained. You know, she's everything's crazy in the world now. People just come can just come back from life. You know what I'm What? <laughs> None of it makes sense. If you want to bring somebody back, bring somebody back. I don't care anymore. You well, know, because we've brought people back from the dead now. Things have happened. Yeah. The multiverse is a thing. We've seen on on uh what if you know, characters can go from one universe to another and nothing mm. happens. Then you mm. see a multiverse of menace. Well, if they're there too long, things are going to explode. Are we going to explain it? No, we're not. We're just going to go about our day. All right. Well, when it comes to Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., here's the problem with Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. that I have. You give me the first two, maybe three seasons, it was canon. Yeah. It was a part of everything. And then all of a sudden, it had to go its own way. Yeah. That's when it, you know, the show still was good. Don't get me wrong. The show was good still. But after like two, three seasons, 
it had to go its own way. And they were like, all right, here's the Terra Genesis myth and all that so we can get Quake, et cetera, et cetera, all these different things. Now, again, some people want to canonize it because, again, get Quake, Daisy Johnson, and the Secret oh, Invasion angle. God, I would love that. So, okay, but some parts you just, like, you can't bring. Like, also, here's another big thing. The Netflix universe was canon. Mm -hmm. Was canon. Every show, when it started, the incident, the big green guy and his friends, yeah. the incident, it was canon. So they even show the newspaper, the Battle of New York, the that, Battle that of actual New York. Episode. Yeah. Yes. So there are things that in itself are canon. Again, you're right. There is the multiverse thing where you can do so many different things. I think you just now you're allowed to pull and pick and choose. Yeah. You don't, you're not held to this has to be it. That has to happen. You can pick and choose what you want. Again, Vincent D'Onofrio and Charlie Cox are back. Yeah. Possibly John Barenthal is back for Born Again for maybe an That's episode. Interesting. I'm very I'm very interested to see on how, what they can do with a Punisher in Disney. Again. Like as personally I I really think it could work. You just don't show the blood. Here's the issue. Here's but the I don't know, what do you think? Well, here's the big thing. The Punisher is a uh... Oh, thank God we won. Look, God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> what was the score? 23-20. Oh, okay. Guess the fucking Texans. Um, you got to remember, Disney had Miramax. Mm -hmm. Disney has Hulu and does Prey. Disney mm -hmm. has done violent graphic shit. Disney but is... Disney in the MCU. That's but that's, that's where what, our question is. But that's what we're getting to now. That's why we're, we're we're slowly integrating. We just had a motherfucker commit suicide. Who told so you me, think you think they're kind of attitude erroring this? They're growing with their yes, audience. That's the best analogy. I don't think we'll get the massive gunshots and blood splatter. I don't think that because you don't want to the one shot prison scene. Where he's just murking everybody. Yeah, you won't get things like that. You'll get something where you'll see some shit happen and people probably drop. But I don't think you'll get a full Frank Castle anyway because Frank, you know, Frank has to be. Frank is all about killing niggas. Mm -hmm. That's all he's about. Yes, he has a code of things and he believes in this, but he about his code involves killing people. My my favorite my favorite comic panel is I actually read Civil War before the Civil War movie came out because mm -hmm. I had never read it. And there's a scene where, you know, Cap's team is all underground and he brings in some of the villains and he's like, okay, these guys are going to work with us. And in the middle of his introduction speech, Castle just shoots both of them in the head and Cap just goes nuts and starts beating the hell out of Castle. He's like, why did you do that? And he looks at him and goes, they're bad guys. I shot them. <laughs> the fuck? So, I mean, it's I'm just like, I fucking love that. And I was like, to, to bad guys. So, <laughs> like, again, oh, big monster. <laughs> bad again, guys. Do you, do you, but just to go back, sorry to cut you off. You're but good. You know, bullseye, do you bring, I don't want a Dex. I want Bullseye now. Yeah. Electra, I like the Lodi Young, but she also has her own show on Fox now. Colleen Wing is fucking bit. Uh, Jessica, what's her last name? I can't remember her last name. She's busy as shit. Henwick, yeah, she's Henwick. fantastic. She's big, but she's busy. She was my have. favorite thing about Iron Fist. You know what I'm saying? Ben Urick. I mean, yeah. again, depends that's on that's my problem, is Ben Urick's dead. He so is he like that's the thing. Do you bring back Deborah Ann Wall as Karen Page? Like, there's so you don't have to bring it all, you can bring the essentials. And again, what is the essentials? Whatever feels like moves this story forward. Now, the Daredevil story, the Born Again story, if it's bullseye. Are you bringing back the dude who played, uh, who was about to be Bullseye, or do you cast somebody else? I bring, see me again, personally, because someone I wanted to be canon. I say you bring him back, but he is now Bullseye. He doesn't have like the the mental the, the issues that he was having. He is now a new character, but he's still got the history. Same actor. You don't have to. You don't have to play to it. You don't have to mention it. You just move forward. Like he has grown as a character off screen, and he is who he is now. 
We will see, man. But again, Jolene, thank you for your email. And again, if you want to email me, madtitanpodcast at gmail.com, madtitanpodcast at gmail.com. That will wrap up everything for this episode. Season I will, two. Episode. I will, Jay, I will say, I love questions like that. That you get, you know, you know, just what are your opinion on this thing that we all love? How mm. how do you look at it? Because I like when we get to look at different people's opinions on how they enjoy this shit. Right. And also it isn't there isn't a finite response. Exactly. That's what's good about these kind of those kind yeah, of love. I love this. I love it. That gotta happen. It's like there's opinions and, and you, mm-hmm. you 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 play around with it and also my my energy tank is down to zero. Yeah. <laughs> so like we finna wrap, wrap shit up. You're good. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm yo. I'm so fuck, dude. I've been on my. It is 1:45 in the afternoon here Sunday in LA. I have been in front of my computer, nonstop streaming, recording, and talking since 9:45 this morning. Oh, Jesus Christ. BC, I'm gonna look people how they find me on all social media at the grind calls uh, as well tiktok twitter instagram you can catch me here on the mad titan every week and as well on the lando project every sunday morning and catch him in only fans selling pictures of his pinky toes that's only me. the pinky toe though just i, I kind of blur out the, the big toe just the pinky that's it uh check me out twitter instagram tiktok at mr j watch i haven't pushed it on tiktok in a while because i'm tiktok about black so i'm like fuck it just i'll make funny shit on instagram uh, yeah, your reels go really good. Thank you, sir. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, like I said, Mr. J. Washington. I'm here. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. J. Washington. Become a member of the squad. Uh, shout out to all the members of the squad. Uh, Alberto Torrios, thank you for being at the 101 tier. Azure, Bobby McMillan, thank you for being at the 101. Brock Severson, Chauncey Wilson, thank you for being at the 101. Cheryl Corman, Chris Lee, thank you for being at the 101. Dan Vicky, David Adams, Sam Boy, Cantina, Fillmore Pockets, Frank Castillo, Greg Morrissey, Hillary Nella, Jim Payne, thank you for being at the 101. Joe Ling, thank you for being at the 101. Jersey Square, Square Kirstie Oliveria, Luke Scherzer, thank you for being at the 101. Marcus Burton and Patrick Harden, thank you all. If you want to do that, please go there. Um, that show American Gigolo that I'm on. It's just kind of a big show. You know, that little thing. You know, when you're the small show. Been promoted everywhere. Uh, every Friday, we have streaming is available on Hulu for show. We got Showtime streaming, Hulu, Paramount, Paramount, uh, Paramount Plus, all that good shit. It is there. Uh, if you don't have it, you can see every new episode on Friday, on Sundays, excuse me, on the network on Showtime. I, Luther Returns, Luther's in episodes two and three, and will return in the season finale, episode eight. So please check out the show still and support. Thank you to everybody who has been showing a lot of love, everything from there. As you can tell in my voice, I can even hear myself getting tired. I have to take a nap because I got to do two stand-up shows tonight. If I don't go to sleep, I'm going to probably just pass the fuck out. Uh, I, we will holler at y'all next week. Thank y'all for riding this season two. We out. Bye.